Yo, what's up guys, and welcome back to the Football Appreciation YouTube channel. Now, news is kind of breaking that Erling Haaland could be going to Chelsea. You know, Matt Law and um, Jana Fiotov. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, you, this guy, by the way, if you don't know who he is, he's been very reliable when it comes to Erling Haaland. Like, there was kind of a period when, before he joined Dortmund, where it looked like he was going to Man United, and this guy was kind of one that broke the news, so he is reliable. He says Chelsea are working intense to get Erling Haaland. He's seen as the missing player to make them challenge the Premier League this season. I don't agree with that personally. Um, not the first bit. Like I'm, I'm sure they are working really hard to get him. And it makes a lot of sense given that the Norway aren't at the Euros. So Erling Haaland's just chilling. You know, it's not like it's one of those deals where the player's at the Euros and they want to wait. By the way, subscribe to the channel. The more videos out, more Premier League videos. Subscribe. But, but um, we, this he's the missing player thing. I don't necessarily agree with that, but you know the main obstacle is the wage demands apparently, which makes a lot of sense. You know, when you look at this Chelsea squad, right? The amount of like this is if Holland signed, right? I'd assume Giroud would just kind of become the backup. But the amount of attacking talent, like this, this is leaving out Tammy Abraham, Hakim Ziyech, and Callum Hudson Odoi, and you can't have you know Hudson Odoi is on hundred k a week, Ziyech probably is as well. You know, Tammy Abraham's probably on a decent wedge. You know, you, you can't just have so many guys on, like, ridiculous um, wages, you know? So they are going to have to sell. But this is the good thing about Chelsea. This is why Chelsea are, like, the, probably one of the best-run clubs in this country. They always have saleable assets. They always have someone that they can let go and fund something else with because they just stack up players. It's, it's why Chelsea have been so successful over the last 10 years. They're brilliant at it. Now, for, for a Dortmund point of view, it makes sense to sell Erling Haaland. I don't get why they're waiting for next summer, like... Dortmund aren't going to win anything anyway. They're not an ambitious club. Like, no offence to them, but, you know, he's valued at 99 mil coins to transfer marks, but you'd get more than that, obviously. But Haaland's release clause is, what, 80 million next summer? Why not just sell him now for 120? Or however much it would cost Chelsea to buy him? Like, it, it makes sense from both perspectives. Re regarding this, he's the missing player thing, I don't necessarily agree with that. Like, I, I think there's other parts, right? I still think Chelsea's back line's ageing a little bit. You probably need to back up to Reese James and one more central midfielder, especially if Jorginho like leaves. Because Jorginho's what, 30 now? But the one interesting thing about Holland, first of all, I think it kind of tells you that Tammy Abraham leaving is more than just like a stylistic thing. Because Tammy Abraham and Erling Holland are very similar sizes. You know, if, if you look at their numbers in terms of like dribbles and passing, like they're very similar in terms of they're not very good at it. Um Tammy Abraham's actually a better defender and better in the air, but you know, Holland's not good at these things, and neither is Tammy Abraham. Yeah, he's cast aside Tammy Abraham. So a lot of people kind of thought, well, he wants a striker that can like pass the ball and be a good carrier and a good dribbler. It kind of dispels that rumor. But look, Tammy, Tammy Abraham will get forty million for Chelsea, and that takes it off Holland. But look, if you you know if you if you ignore the top bit, Holland's numbers look terrible. But you know he's just an elite finisher. He's, he's a freakishly good finisher. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I don't think anyone doubts the fact that Erling Haaland would be amazing in the Premier League. You know, he already speaks the language, quite two-footed. It, it just makes a lot of sense for Chelsea. But <laughs> I don't think they need a striker. I still think Timo Werner's fine. Personally, uh, you know, if, if you said to Chelsea, you can either buy Haaland or a centre-mid, a centre-back and a right-back, I'm sure most Chelsea fans would probably still take Haaland anyway, but it'd probably be better for the overall squad, right? But... It would kind of allow Timo Werner to play more off the left, which is probably his best position, and it would it would kind of make Chelsea into a super club. I still I still don't ever get that feeling from Chelsea, but if you if they can flex their muscles, which they should do after winning a Champions League, why why not? And go and get Erling Haaland. It's such a big statement. You know, it's weird because Timo Werner and Erling Haaland are kind of the opposites. You know, Werner hasn't underperformed his xG, but he does a lot of the, you know the dribbling and the progressive carries and all that stuff. Erling Haaland is the complete opposite. And maybe that would be the perfect combination. You know, I could see Ziyech leaving. I can't really see where Ziyech fits in now, which is a shame because I don't mean he's had a bad season. Um, but probably been a bit underwhelming. H Hudson Adoy is the big one. You know, he's kind of just been uh, cast to the side, and it's, it's not really his fault. You know, Thomas Tuchel's given him a chance. It's not like he's not got minutes, but look, they, they'll get 40, 50 million for Calvin Hudson Adoy. And even if you think Tammy Abraham and Ziyech and Hudson Adoy and Tamori as well, who's leaving. Oh, amazing they are of course they are like they're players that you look at just on their own and think why are you selling them but this is what's so good about Chelsea they've always got someone else they've always got someone else on their mind 
and it wouldn't surprise me if this happened. You know, like the, these sort of rumours always start to come out. This is how transfers work. And I just think Erling Haaland would, assuming they can go and, you know, plug some other gaps, going maybe get a centre midfielder or a right back. This Chelsea squad, I can see it, you know, at least pushing Man City. You know, if, if you look at, this is the Premier League table from when Thomas Ducal got appointed. And if you look at, they got 10 less points in that time, mainly because they drew a lot of games. But if you look at expected points, they're only one behind and they played one less game in this time as well. So you'd assume they've they they've probably basically they've been the best team. Let's, let's be honest, they've probably been the best team in the Prem. They've definitely been the best defence and they've had the second best attack. Erling Haaland would obviously transform that and their defence is already great anyway. And I still don't agree with this. He's the missing player to make them challenge for the title, but he's not far from it. And I think if Chelsea can be clever... And I trust them. I trust Marina Granovskaya. If you can get Holland, maybe try and block Tamori from leaving, and plug Tamori into that. This is an elite Champions League winning team again, Premier League winning team. And it's just Chelsea doing what they do all the time. You know, improving their squad, spending money, getting rid of assets they don't need for ridiculous prices. Chelsea are just a well-run club, whether you like them or not. They're a very well-run club who knows how to use their assets, and. Assuming they back Thomas Tuchel, you know, they're giving him a three-year contract, which is nice to hear. I think Chelsea um, Chelsea are in an amazing position to push Man City. You know, Man City don't have the money that they've had in prior years. Let's just say Man City don't buy Harry Kane. I could, I'd, I'd bet money on Chelsea to win the league. Genuinely, I would. But, um, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, subscribe to the channel. And do you think, do you agree with that Holland is the missing player thing? I think that's a bit over the top, but... Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel. And yeah, peace.